And uh, they actually raise these and skin them and use them for mink stoles and jackets and coats and stuff. So they're available. And yes, this is a male. You're very observant. It's a male. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to, oh, I want you to see what we did is we dissected out muscles. You see this is latissimus dorsi, both sides. And there's a bunch of others, but I'm not going to show them to you. We'll get into the good stuff. Good stuff. So I'm going to cut your muscle in the front. You see right here, they have a couple here, longissimus mm -hmm. dorsi, there and here. It's really kind of cool. So I'm just going to take and cut along here. Cut. And I'll lift up. Stick my finger out. Lift it up. And we get up to the front up here, and there's a bone here called the sternum. So I'm going to take my razor blade, and I'm going to cut the bone, the sternum bone here. You're going to be able to see the diaphragm. Okay, good, good, good. Good. Now I'm going to cut the side to the side. Now cut this side over here. And you can see the guts. <laughs> Listen to the bones crack. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you do to Oh, you see this right here? This this fiber right here going across here and here? That's the diaphragm. That helps you breathe. Everything above that are the lungs and the heart. So I'm gonna pull this over here like so. Oh, yes. Okay, so now I'm going to take out, by the way, this is the abdomen. Everything up here above is the thorax and everything down below is the abdomen. And so I'm going to take the heart and lungs out first. Can you see? You don't want to see. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take and cut the trachea, which is where the air goes through. I'm going to cut the superior vena cava, that's where the blood from the head comes to the heart, and I'm going to cut the esophagus, that's where the blood, where the food goes down to your stomach. So I got that cut off. There's the tubes right there, you can see some openings. Okay, now I'm going to take, come down here, and I'm going to cut off the esophagus. <coughs> So, this is upside down, this is right side up, or this is, and you can see the heart in the middle. See the heart right there? Mm -hmm. That's the heart. So what are these things I'm holding on to? Lungs. Lungs. And I want you to notice that there's two on this side, two lobes of one lung, and there's one, two, three lobes over here. Three lobes over here. Mm -hmm. And that's because the heart's over to one side, and when you put your hand in your heart to say, I pledge allegiance or whatever, that's where the heart is on that side a little bit more, so this side over here has two, I'm sorry, three lobes, and this side over here has two lobes because the heart gets in the way. So I'm going to now take the, cut the lungs off the heart. But first of all, I have to separate out some of the, the vessels. There's a blood vessel going into the heart. There's one going into the trachea. Okay, and then I'm going to take and cut this off down here. Ranch 99, huh? <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to wash. Could somebody pull that book out of the way? <laughs> okay, there's the heart. There's blood vessels going down in the heart. And I'm going to cut this. Oh, you see this right here? This is coming up from the bottom of the body called the inferior vena cava. And this is the top coming down. And they both come in, take everything from the head down and from the body up from here. It goes into the aorta. That's one of the four chambers. You've got two aorta, left and right. And I'm going to just cut this uh, long ways and we'll see what's inside the heart. Cut. 
down through the heart. This is really cool. Yeah, it is kind of fun. Okay. So I open up the heart, and there, let me cut some more. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so you see one side is very thick. That's the ventricle that pumps the blood to the whole rest of the body. And then this red is some of the uh, blood that's left in the aorta up on top. So you can see there's the heart. And I'll put it right there. And the lungs, you can see the lungs. Uh, if I didn't cut this right here, I could have left that open and I could have put a straw in there and blew on it and the lungs would expand and contract. Ooh. Ooh, kind of cool. <laughs> cool. Let me just cut one of the lungs open and let you take a look at one of the lug lungs. What is the ossicle like? You see, there's not a hole out there, but if I squeeze, you can see a lot of water come out. Is it air? Okay. So that's the lungs. Okay, so next, let's go over here. And uh, remember, here's the diaphragm right here. This is a big old organ, I mean the muscle, going between the two. I cut it a little bit, but go across all the way across here. And right below the diaphragm is the biggest organ in the body. It's called the... Liver. Oh. The liver. It filters your blood. And uh, I'm going to cut some pieces out. And some people said, last period, or uh, second period, they said, take it all out, unwind the intestines. But before we unwind <laughs> the intestines, oh, this is not a very fatty cat. Oh, here's a little bit. This, I said cat, I meant mate. <laughs> This is, oh yes. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is fat. When a person has a beer belly, see all that white stuff? Mm -hmm. That's all fat. Jeez, and this fat. cat's not as fat as the other one was, we did. But it's all fat and it's stored in the belly a lot. Because that's where the intestines suck out the nutrients and they don't want to put it too far, so they do it there. Now, we ought to look for the, oh, here's the uh, liver. And right in the liver, right here, you see how this is very, is a big sac? Mm -hmm. This is solid, this is a sac. That's the gallbladder. And that's where, when you pee mm -hmm. yellow, it's recycled blood cells and it's stored in this thing. And it's kind of greenish yellow bile. It's called bile in the gallbladder. So that's the liver. Big old liver. Big old liver. I'm going to take a five minute bell. I'm going to cut the liver out. There we go. There's the liver. Have a liver. Mm -hmm. Now, last period, second period of biology, uh, some of the kids afterwards said, oh, yeah, we eat the livers, and we eat the hearts. We eat, yeah. So it's a lot of people eat different parts. Okay, so right here... Oh, this is a small one. Right here is a small, see this right here? That's the stomach. That's the stomach. It's very small. It's very small because he hasn't eaten for a while, but that's the stomach. Then it goes to the intestines. I'm going to undo the intestines so you can see them all. I'm going to unwind it a little bit. It goes underneath here, around, and around here. I'm undoing it from the... Mesentery, it's all called mesentery. Yeah, mesentery, the new one. Okay, see all that? I'm unraveling the intestine. You have a large intestine and a small intestine. This is all intestine. There's blood vessels going to it and, and fat. So I'm tearing off the blood vessels because they absorb the nutrients. Mm. Absorb, so I'm turning off the fat. And so one year when we were dissecting cats, some people said, Oh wow, well, can we undo the can we take the small intestine out and look at it? And I said, sure. And so they all took it out and then they said they said they said here's the stomach. This is the pancreas. That's the pancreas. That makes 
Um, if you're a diabetic, your pancreas doesn't make enough insulin. Steve Jobs, Apple computer, died from cancer of that organ right there, the pancreas. Okay, so they, they took the uh, cat intestines out. Look how long they are. And they said, can we tie two of them together? Oh, let's do three of them and play jump rope. And so they did here in the lab. <laughs> <laughs> they were jumping. Crazy seniors, I declare. Yeah. So, yeah. right here, right about, uh, where is it? Must be, must be close right about here. All small intestines and then the large intestines. I don't dare squeeze the large intestine. Poop. Yeah. Poop would come out. That's not cool. Okay, then there's this. Look at this big thing. This is connected to your bladder, right? There's one little line. And there's a bladder that holds urine. I'm going to pull it off. Okay. And then I'm going to cut it in half. And this is a kidney. This is the kidney. And I'm going to show you how it looks like a kidney bean. <laughs> I sure I wish you knew what you guys were saying. But anyway, there's the kidney. You see how it looks like a kidney bean? There's a, oh, this organ right up here on top? If I scared you, all of a sudden, you go like that because this organ secretes adrenaline. And you're like, oh, ready to run and fight and do whatever. So um, that's a very important little organ. Fight or flight organ where you make a hormone called uh, adrenaline or epinephrine. Okay, that's the cat. Any questions? The mink. I meant mink. Yeah. How long has it been dead? They put formaldehyde, not formaldehyde, they put alcohol and phenol in. It's probably been dead a couple months. When you die, they will put things in you embalming chemicals, which are alcohol, phenol, and stuff like that, so it'll last a long time. So you'll last a long time. Okay? So that's the gut empty of all of its organs. Okay? So that's that.